so we have seen what is the benefit of using pipeline in a computer system and we have taken an example of over here we have seen that we are able to save some amount of time cycle with this four instruction but you know we cannot prove the efficiency of a pipeline in this way we have to prove it by some sort of equation and that equation we technically we say speed up ratio so what is speed up ratio this is equals to uh, it's a ratio between time to execute instruction in a non pipeline method and time to execute instructions in pipeline method okay so we have to find the ratio first so let's try to realize uh, what a speed up ratio is so assume that the total number of instruction the number of instruction with which you are working is equal to n okay the number of stage in your pipeline is equal to k and time to execute in a stage is equal to tau okay so with this three information we have to evaluate what is speed up ratio so first we have to find out what is the time to execute instruction in non pipelining method what non pipe non pipelining method means non pipelining method means this one that we have seen in the previous i mean just previously that fetch of instruction one inst then decode then execute then write back will be done then fetch of instruction two will start so basically in case of non pipelining method considering the stages as a different stage has no use so that mean we can say even we can see over here also that instruction 1 is taking four clock cycle then instruction 2 to starts so that mean we can easily find out by a simple unitary method that one instruction take how many clock cycles you see four clock cycles over here for the instruction one even for two why four the reason is that i have four stages if i somehow represent by five stage it will take five clock cycle as simple as that so that mean one instruction take k tau time why tau i am including because each and every stage is taking tau amount of time to continue that mean k tau time then n number of instruction take k into n dot tau time as simple as that so this is the time 
that is required to execute in non pipelining method now we have to find out time to execute in pipelining method now this is a very crucial one you see if you watch the pipelining method very carefully over here you see with respect to four instruction the first instruction the result of the first instruction came after four, four clock cycles right this is true but since the other instructions intermediate executions are overlapped on previous instructions that is why after getting the output of the first instruction after four clock cycles the other instructions result is coming in respective clock cycles one by one over here you see now why four again the reason is that i have four stages so that means what are the observations i can find out for our non pipelining method that first instruction take k clock cycles right so that mean it is taking k dot tau timing k dot tau time for the first instruction but now for other instructions other instruction that is left that is n minus 1 instructions because i considered i have total instruction n so for the other n minus 1 instructions the results come in every clock cycle every clock cycle you see in the fifth clock cycle i am getting output of instruction 2 in sixth clock cycle i am getting output of 3 in 7 output of 4 if you involve f5 then also it will be something like this right and it will come out so that means the for the n minus 1 instruction the result come in every clock cycle that mean that mean the time to execute n minus 1 instruction will be what n minus 1 into tau time that mean total time that is required for executing n number of instructions in a no pipelining method is first instruction timing plus n minus 1 instructions timing that is k tau plus n minus 1 into tau right so k tau plus n minus 1 into tau or you can say n plus k minus 1 into tau so this is the time that is required for executing n number of instruction with k number of stages in a pipelining method now the speed up ratio actually we also call speed up is equal to what you can say it is n k tau n dot k dot tau by here it is n plus k minus 1 dot tau and you can easily cancel out this tau so ultimately it become n dot k by n plus k minus 1. So one observation we have found over here.
what is the observation can anybody tell me the observation is that speed up ratio does not depend upon the time i don't have any term of tau over here it's all about the function of the speed up is function of only the number of stages and number of instructions that's all so this is an observation we can find out about the speed up so in this way you can evaluate the speed up ratio now if someone give you the number of stages and number of instructions in a pipelining and if also give the timing doesn't matter you can easily find out what should be the speed up ratio with respect to in that system 